so much for lighting. I'm telling you, Microsoft, you've got to do something about your cameras. You don't know how many vloggers use your cameras, the ones that are built inside your little machines? Get with it. This is horrible. Man, I'm always having poor YouTube ask me if they can adjust my screen. They can adjust it all they want. It still looks like hell. And then to top it all off, you know, um, I can't go to other sites, especially when they need the, that filming to be crystal clear. And guess what? You get thrown off of them for not being able to edit or have a good camera. Mine's not having a good camera. So anyway, out there, Microsoft land. I live in Microsoft land. For the love of God, do something about these computers. It's Windows 8 that has the biggest problem. I didn't have problems with um, 5. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, they were a lot better few years ago and now we're going into Windows 10 and I hear it's just as bad what is wrong with you the product goes up and the quality goes down that makes a lot of sense doesn't it now, as you can tell this uh, video is not to really bitch about Microsoft because they do contribute to our community highly and they keep our people very um, employed and they actually are a company we have to respect along with Boeing. Salute. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, the reason why I'm filming today is a, a very good reason. It's about coyotes and the vermin that uh, people hunt for fun or they don't want on their cattle ranches. Now, I understand, believe me, when you have, you're making a living with sheep and cattle and pigs and chickens you do not want a coyote around they will eat the chickens the chicken is a good size and put up much of a fight and you know to be honest with you they can bite the heels of a cow or a horse but they're not that big of a canine that um can do a lot of damage not with a herd <laughs> the herd will stomp those coyotes Coyotes travel in sets of one or many. Their families tend to stay together and um, they are incredibly smart. But what people don't realize is that a coyote usually doesn't attack, does not attack human beings. The attacks that you have seen have been aggressive moves because the child has peanut butter and jelly on their hand. It's not a snap. It's I want some of your peanut butter and jelly. I've seen it too much. Coyote comes into a park, sniffs the baby. If that, if that coyote wanted to, it could take that baby and throw her up in the air and that'd be it. No, he wants to taste her fingers. He wants want to bite them. He's a coyote. He doesn't know how to easy pick. Now, I know how many people um, are nervous about urban uh, coyotes, but I want everybody to remember this and, and remember it closely. You moved into their lands. We've torn down trees. I'm living in a neighborhood right now where every place around me now is going to be a neighborhood. And I used to have herds of deer up here and hardly see them now and I had an albino deer that just so happened being the trophy of some hunter around here I um and the coyotes right now we've got a lot of them they're on it we've got new pups you know and they uh they're right behind my house and they're uh snuggled in you know burrowed down the male goes out and hunts you know and her and her other siblings sisters and brothers they go out and hunt for that female she has to be fed it's hard to leave when babies are crying you have to keep them quiet because you know what raccoons will kill them yeah birds prey uh, we've got a hell of a big owl they just love one of those pups 
So there are things that nature does that they do it themselves without mankind helping them. I do not understand these movies that I've been seeing or vids on YouTube of people killing coyotes and thinking that's really great. What a sport. It's not a sport. You know, it's a sport only if you make it one. And, and then it's it reminds me almost of taking a baby and throwing it up in the air and catching it with a knife. Sound a little bit familiar, does it? It's wrong. Right, wrong. You don't need to kill the damn animal. Are you using it for food? I know you're not. You're stuffing the thing. You're not using its meat. You're not using anything except its carcass and its body to rebuild. So you want a dead coyote sitting by your fireplace. Skunks the same way. And possums, by the way, are illegal to kill in the United States because they are a marsupial. I thought I'd remind you of that. There are so many reasons not to kill a coyote. For one, they keep up big rats. They keep up nutria, which most places don't have water, don't know what a nutria is, but a nutria is big. They used to be used as coats. I don't believe in using animals' coats either, but there are some practicalities. The thing is, is not to use an animal for everything and just to go out and yeehaw. Did you get that, boy? I watched a YouTube vid. It took six or seven shots before they got that coyote. And in the meantime, they had wounded it. And I, 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 I commented it several times during the vid. I mean, they are just savage. There is no reason for them to be shooting. They shouldn't be shooting. They cannot get an animal on the first try. Then they've got a wounded animal that's mad and scared. Then the animal will attack. You tell people this, and the first thing they do is, they're vicious. They're not vicious. I've had coyotes come up to me at <laughs> parties and knows me, and I... I wasn't paying attention at this one office party. We had a big picnic out there in uh, Fall City, Washington, and so anyway, it was at the, <laughs> it was at the, um, uh, I think it was at Rumlinger's. Anyway, uh, so here we are, and she noses me. Well, I have a hot dog in my hand, and. Um, I looked down. I looked up. <laughs> I looked down. I said, you're not supposed to be here. I gave her the hot dog because she was so polite about it. And um, the only problem was she she went from table to table. And it was like she was invisible. Nobody noticed this coyote. And to go table to table and steal food. And she, her little nose was right at that point where she could take food. So here I am, and I'm laughing. <laughs> it's like, you know. And, and of course, everybody looks at me and goes, what's so funny? I'm going, we have got a major visitor, and none of you are aware. So I told them. They go, oh, <laughs> why? I said, wait, wait just, just wait a minute. Don't, before you scream, lose your panties here. <laughs> it's coyote. Coyotes are non-aggressive. And right now, you've got a smorgasbord. <laughs> However you say it, smorgasbord. Anyway, of hot dogs, hamburgers. I think she liked the pie, too. <laughs> and I was like, huh. I've been involved with coyotes for years. I lived up on Snoqualmie Pass. The, the summit and yeah, the ski area up there here in um, Washington State. I lived in Hayek, and uh, it's a great place to live. I, I, I liked it up there quite a bit. But Coyote would follow you at night when you were going for a snow ride or snow walk. You know, so would the cougars. They don't attack. We attack. We are the most scared animal on earth. I don't recommend petting a cougar <laughs> or feeding them. <laughs>
but the coyotes never never intimidated me. And I had one uh, who was breaking her pups in, and I was just sitting there on the patio watching her, and she she had five or six of them. Oh my god! <laughs> I was thinking so glad you're. I'm not you, but anyway, she was trying to teach them how to catch a rabbit. I won't go into details, but it was quite the. <laughs> Anyway, she came up, not too close, and laid part of the bunny down in front of me. And she was trying to feed me. What was interesting at that time is that I wasn't feeling well. And I wasn't eating. Now that's a mother's instinct. I took it as an honor. And I gave it back to her and I said, thank you. And uh, I went and had chicken noodle soup. 